Let's return to one of our top stories, and that's the Iranian president, Ibrahim Raisi's visit to Venezuela. We can now speak to Abbas Aslani, who's a senior research fellow at the Center for Middle East Strategic Studies. He's in Tehran, joining us from there. Welcome to Al Jazeera. So uh, what we've heard so far is that a number of, of accords have been signed between uh, the two presidents. H how significant do you think this visit is? Well, uh, Iran and Venezuela, they have had relations for long years, but, uh, you know, it has been criticized here in the capital that the previous government didn't pay much attention to these bilateral relations. And that's why uh, for about a couple of years ago, the level of volume of the trade uh, decreased to the, you know, uh, some hundred million dollars. Uh, but in the past years, uh, past couple of years, they have tried to increase it to the three billion dollars, and they aim to increase it by as much as twenty billion dollars. But at the initial step, it will be about ten billion. Uh, so the current Iranian administration, which has been focusing on, let's say, having a good relations with neighboring countries, Asian countries, as well as those friendly countries is also trying to revive the capacity that it can find in the relations with some Latin American countries, including Venezuela. Right, I think, right. So let me ask uh, you why now? What do we make of the timing of that then? Uh, you know, in the aftermath of the, you know, disappointment of, let's, about the revival of the nuclear deal, Iran has been trying to resort to some alternatives in order to compensate uh, you know, the shortages in its economic relations. Uh, so when Tehran cannot have good economic relations with the West, for sure it will, uh, you know, shift toward, uh, you know, Eastern countries, as well as those countries who want to have good relations with Iran. Both and countries, Latin America. of course, the target of U.S. sanctions, speaking of Iran and Venezuela, as, whether, as well as other countries uh, in, in Latin America that uh, Raisi will be visiting. But uh, who do you think needs more here? You know, the sanctions can be a challenge, you know, uh, undermining the efforts by the both sides in order to uh, strengthen the ties. But it can be also a, a, you know, a kind of opportunity for pushing these two capitals and other countries who have been under sanctions to cooperate more. So like what is happening between Iran and Russia, you know, the sanctions has been pushing uh, Moscow and Tehran in order to expand ties on economic field. So this is another issue. You know, politically, these two capitals also have common grounds to work on. And, you know, the area that the, uh, or the region that the Venezuela have been located in is also of significance. Right. And the, all this to, uh, you know, amounts to the importance of the relations. Thank you so much, Abbas Aslani, for joining us from Tehran.